I'm Linda, and welcome to the Awfully Bad Movie Club. Hi, this is Kathy. This is Mr. C! This is Justin Adams. Jason here. Our assignment was Robo War. With Robo War, we jump right into things, baby! The opening of it was pretty good. It really caught my attention. Ooh, sounds exciting, you know. Robo War, we're gonna shoot guys shooting at a bunch of robots. A malfunctioning helicopter is being chased by a gibberish speaking robot. Say now, say now, say now, say now, say now. So I have no idea what's going on. The first whole bit of the movie. They obviously need help capturing this robot. So they called in the A-Team, but the A-Team wasn't available, so they got the B-Team. I'm pretty sure the main guy's name is Murphy. The end credits, he's credited as, as Murphy, but I'm just going to say that's a typo. So Murphy is the uh, coordinator and leader of the BAMs. BAM. Big ass motherfuckers. Okay, not bad. Let's keep going. Did a bop. Bop a die. Killzone, Quang, and Blood. BAMs do what the BAMs do, and they arrive after a little boat trip where they all look to be having a really great time. And they're just a bunch of good old guys. Blood is drinking his beer, and they're smoking some weed. I don't know who smokes weed like, like that. They're in the jungle. I'm like, okay, where's the robots? They march through the jungle with the best music that Mr. Z has ever heard, baby. But this is where it all falls apart, folks. As soon as they get there, they just open fire on everything. Where'd they get all that ammo that they've been shooting all this time? Why are they shooting up the trees? What did the trees ever do to them? After just unloading on absolutely nothing, they do finally come across a militia of sorts that is terrorizing a bunch of innocent civilians. I don't know what country we're in. I don't know what they're supposed to, if they're the good or the bad guys. They kind of casually observe the civilians getting massacred for the most part until there's only one of them left and then the BAMs spring into action. The good guys just shoot down the bad guys who stand there and just fall over. And as the mission gets diverted, the body count rises, baby! It started to dawn on me, the movie I was watching was just nothing more than a Predator ripoff. Yeah, just like that. Exactly like that. Then the action comes in fast and hot, baby! With all the blowing up, I was seeing people going, eh, and they're flying through the air. And At this point then, you finally do see a robot. You only see one. I'm like, okay, it's called Robo War. Where's the robots? I default robots. There aren't even robots in this movie. And it looks like the robot from Christmas Past. You know, the cartoon I'm talking about. He's more of a cyborg than anything, but this this cyborg means business. It's a little bit like Robocop because the guy inside was like one of their buddies who they found his name tag randomly in the middle of the woods. He got turned into this super killer thing. And they do a sappy bad story, I'm a backstory to it. I'm like, oh my god, really? The flashbacks reveal all, and it turns out he saves his friend! Instead of putting him out of his misery, Murph Murphy just couldn't do it, which ultimately led to this man being turned into the cyborg that we all know and love today. Then we cut to the climax! Napalm death, and the robot blows up! That's Robo War, and it's really one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. I think all in all, it was fun. It, it wasn't bad at all. Curtis, this might be the most insulting thing you've ever forced us to watch, ever. This movie makes me want to blow myself up. No, that's a little too much. This movie is eternal proof that man will always triumph over machine, baby. Yeah! 
Greetings, Curtis here. Do you think you have what it takes to join the Awfully Bad Movie Club? Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter and Instagram if you dare. Ha 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 ha.